tone right before okay we, uh, right before we started uh recording this let me turn my lights on so you people can see me there we are um came up with the perfect title for this episode the resilience of the human body <laughs> yeah I freaking, I freaking love it um we're gonna talk about what you should do to take care of yourself no matter what age you are we're not medical professionals we're we're not doctors although perhaps we have played them on tv or on stage so anything that we say is really purely for entertainment purposes and and things that we've discovered are on our own health journeys for you applications may be different always do the research all right now disclaimer out of the right way. uh the reason why i want to touch on this is is because you know the human body in many ways as you said is resilient as we get older yeah as we get older, we seem to notice more creaks and cracks and snaps and groans. I mean, even when we yes. just wake up and move in bed. Have you noticed that? <laughs> I do. Yeah, of course I do. And uh, the thing is that uh, I thought about it because you mentioned it a couple of days ago. Uh, because, uh, because, of course, me being hit with the freaking coronavirus again for the fifth time thank you very much had all my shots so that's not so, something i'm gonna do again because uh, i don't know it's for a bit i uh, no, i'm not gonna do it again so i got sick anytime so anytime i got the shot i got sick so um but on the other hand people you, know, you can argue that uh, uh, maybe i gotten it more severe if i wouldn't have taken the shot so but so, I guess you you will never know. Well, now I didn't get the shot, and I got sick, and I got really sick for uh, like five days. And after that, I recovered pretty quickly. But I'm still a little tired. So you yeah. looked you the photo the photo you sent to me the first twenty four hours you were sick. <laughs> you you I'm I'm not saying this lightly. You looked like you were at death's door, just. With oh, the breather God. apparatus on and the pallor of your skin, it 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 yeah. was. And going back to that other point, you know, you got <laughs> you got the shot and you got sick. Uh, the very first time I got a flu shot, I got sick, and I erroneously blamed it on the shot. And I was talking to a friend who's a doctor, and she told me, mm. you know the the vaccine that they come up with the shot that they come up with for that particular season is based on the most prevalent strain of flu she goes your challenge and this is when i was still at disney is you're meeting and interacting with people from all over the country and all over the world so they brought another special strain with them and for you yeah. at center parks it is the exact exactly the same thing. story yeah thinking about that as well because uh i meet up with a lot of people and i talk to a lot of people during the day every day for the whole week uh, every month every uh, every year you know like yes the whole year through and that's probably the cause uh, the cause of me uh getting it more often than everybody else yeah it's probably that well on the other hand Yvonne also uh, uh, meets up with a lot of people who come in contact with a lot of people uh, uh, uh on their turn uh so but she, she didn't get it for yeah like only once and she never had any shots as well so but there's but so this... there's, there's a little difference between you and ivana ivana meets people from the area from the province mostly yeah that's it you that's meet it. people from yeah. all over the continent yeah, all over the world, basically. They come from Israel, Russia, everywhere. Yeah, well, Russia, not not that America. much lately, of course. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, they come from all over the place. Yeah, yeah Americans, uh, Canadians, uh, you, you name it. Italy, Spain, uh, the Balkans, everywhere. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. Maybe. You know, it's a it's a deeply fascinating thing. Uh, You've got a family that goes on holiday and 
their little one has a cold and and that cold will run through their system in 36 to 48 hours and then they're fine but yeah. because our body is not used to that virus you know it's like they, it's like cancer there are different kinds of cancer you know lung cancer bone cancer and and each one has to be treated differently and and with a cold it's the same thing the cold that i yeah. get could knock you out for several weeks the cold that you get right. could knock me out for a month and a half right you never know the difference you never know the difference this so, it's never it, yeah that's true probably that's a you know, a good thing, a good place to start, and this is this is a thing that we're always telling our kids, is wash your hands often and don't touch your hands to your face. Because yeah, you know, I was I was telling this story yesterday when I was at Disney, uh, when I started there in attraction operations, I would be in four positions. I'd I'd be in greeter. I'd be I'd be a little further up. Uh, I'd I'd be the spieler. And then I would be on the sound stages and then I'd go to break. Now I only ever mm. touched the handrails that people touched. But when I went to wash my hands, the dirt that came off my hands looked like I'd been gardening. And all I right. did was metal it's handrails. True. So yeah. when we're touching handrails and doorknobs and walls and doors and windows, and then we touch our hands to our face, we're transferring exactly. We're transferring the viruses and bacteria right there to this this really hospitable opening. It's warm. It's <laughs> moist. It's a place to come live here for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. On the other end, you might argue that if you never uh, touch your face or be extra careful, you may n n not build up any resistance for uh, viruses and stuff like that. Yeah, you have your nose and it's, it's you have the mucus. You're, you're, spot, that, you're spot on. You're spot yeah. on. Also, uh, yeah. Addison, so it, it, Addison's teacher, when, uh, when she was in kindergarten, told us she had two children. One went through kindergarten in the first and to first. The other didn't go through pre-K or kindergarten, just went straight to first. And goes the the <clears throat> that didn't go was sick the whole first year because hadn't built the immune system up right the other one that's yeah, very possible and i i agree we are building our immune system up but i think especially as we get older uh we have to do mm -hmm. it on our terms and not not on the terms of the virus because the virus doesn't care the virus doesn't care on how old you are, it doesn't care about your political or religious beliefs. It doesn't care where, nope. you, and it doesn't <laughs> care what you have to do. No, not at all. It's it's not at all. I started. You'll appreciate this. Um, I started vocal lessons for an audition I have coming up next month, and it's been decades since I had a vocal lesson and, and I'm real lucky because the gentleman I'm working with used to perform with the Voices of Liberty over in Epcot at the American Adventure. And he mm. did two tours of the musical that I'm auditioning for as a piano composer. So oh. he, he absolutely is the ideal individual to train me. And after I was done, and this was just an hour and 15 minute practice, I felt like a truck had hit me. I I got home and I, I barely got out of my clothes. I crawled into bed and I woke up in the morning with my dog spooned up next to me. I haven't slept that well since I was under anesthesia. And you can appreciate it because your you're professionally trained you have you have performed and you have used your voice for decades on stage me right I'm to shakespeare and jumping off a building so completely different mm. set of muscles and the the point i'm making is as we get older even if it gets harder we still have to do these things maybe 
maybe you can't mm -hmm. run 10 miles a day, but you could swim, you could bike, and you can walk. Mm -hmm. Any of those activities are beneficial for the body. And sitting at home doing nothing is dangerous because your body gets used to it. The muscles and ligaments use that elast they lose that elasticity. We get older, yep. we find it harder to move. That's exactly what it is, you know. You know, uh, pe uh, pe people tend to say, "Well, I'm getting older, uh, having a little bit of pain here and there." And you no, know, yeah, I know how it is. You're getting older and stuff, but that's uh, com a completely destructive way of thinking because you, if you're getting older, it's more important to move around because. Uh, but that's my opinion, of course. I'm not a physician, as you just said. Of course, I'm not. We, uh, we, uh, we, we both are not, but uh, I, I came to the conclusion that uh, the the more older you get, the more important it is to, uh, to keep to keep moving, and, and the more you move and exercise, the less pains you endure. That's of course, and everybody has has terminal uh, dates for everybody, of course. To put it like that, but still, you you know, as long as you're uh, as you're alive, you 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 have to work harder every year uh, when you get older to who uh, keep to to lead a comfortable lifestyle. Because if you if you stop moving, it will get harder to live, to do things, to just be. You see, you understand what I'm saying? I do. You change every. You you change yeah, everything. Um, not, but you 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 change your level of engagement when you reduce your level of engagement, and it becomes it. Yeah. It's like the flexibility of doing the splits. Great example. You know, you, you work towards the <clears throat> you, you do the stretches. You do the the body training so your muscles know this is what's expected of you, and then eventually you drop into a straddle split or a Russian split. But if you don't do it, if you don't continue to stretch those muscles and ligaments and warm them mm -hmm. up, you, you can't you can't drop back into it even a year later, yeah. let alone a decade later. So I, yeah. I get it. Um, as you were talking, I was thinking about when I, I came with you last time I was there at uh, Center Parks, you you're constantly on the move. And some of that's intentional because if you wanted to, you could find plenty of opportunities to sit down. But I I found it remarkable that you know my friend, the moment he showed up, he's on the go. You mm. you you didn't stop until the end of the evening when you would you would take a break with uh, your mates, maybe to have a, a coffee or a beer. And yeah, then, but exactly on the go. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's I. I guess I'm a little bit lucky that that I have that job because it it has to it keeps me moving. I I don't have any any choice. I have to, so that's that's okay. And um, you know, I I notice when I'm having a couple of days off, like a week off or something, and okay, oh, I'll take it easy for uh, for a week, and I start feeling feeling more tired than I would be after go, going after a regular week of work. It's really strange, but it is. And uh, I think that makes so, sense. Um, your body is used yeah. to things. Yeah, just keep moving. It's the most important thing for our life concerns. You know, it's always nice to, to be a little bit of lazy every uh, every once in a while, but not for a long time. Long time, because you know, if you stop moving, you start dying. Yes. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. That's... Yeah, how many times do you hear that? You know, people who who uh, go into retirement, and you go like, uh, "Did you hear about Sam? Yeah, what about him? Yeah, he fucking died, man. He's uh, he's like a, a year in the, in his pension in his retirement. He just died. Yeah, why do you think it's that? Because he didn't move anymore. He didn't do jack shit. Your your body goes like, oh yeah, okay, whatever, bye. It doesn't work anymore. You have to you have to keep moving. I, of course, you don't have you don't live forever, but well, no. But you, you uh, there there are things. You know, I'm reading several books, and you know, one of them is 
is called The Longevity Paradox. And it's not an endorsement. It's a good book, but you know, it talks mm. about what we eat and what we should eat. And it talks about how because of the marketing, which is so blatant here in the United States, we are told what we should eat because there are clever slogans like beef, it's what's good for you, or milk, it does a body. Right. When neither one of those things, I mean, in extreme moderation, yeah, maybe beef is okay, but but milk, I feel we can talk for hours about that. And I oh, yeah. think when you think about that, you, you and Ivana eat, uh, you've made much healthier lifestyle choices when it comes to what you eat and and all of mm -hmm. that you not only it not only shows it it's reflected in how you feel when i stopped when i stopped eating meat i i found not only did i lose weight and this is without changing anything i did i found i uh, had more energy mm -hmm. and when you are active and when you do things to stay active you know, when I was doing KSM, King Solomon's Minds, because we were doing so many shows a day and it was so demanding and we're going up and down the stairs and, and just running around that stage, I would eat big bowls of pasta between shows and I couldn't put weight on because I'd burned it all up. But as as we get older, our metabolism wants to slow down yeah. and it's up to us to stay active. And and yeah. You know, as you get older, you know, maybe you're not going to go to the gym and lift for a couple hours. That's fine. But mm. but there's still morning stretching exercises. There's yeah. you know, there's there's meditation. There's a host of things that you can do that mm. truly does your body good. Right. I'm not uh, the best in that in that regard. I I do admit. So but uh, there are a lot of other things you can do like grab a bike you know or it's, instead of going into your car or whatever or take a walk or you know if uh, yeah well maybe in america uh, it, uh, it's harder but for here you know it's easy to uh, to to get your bike and take a bike to a friend of yours just you don't have to go by car or anything or just take a walk around the neighborhood just do it. if you do it every day yes. you'll, you'll be fine we I'm we can, sure. we can do that here. It's just that mm. Americans tend to be more lazy. Yeah. Unless unless well, you're, it... you're compelled to do the work, like if you live on a farm or yeah. something, where your job calls for it. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, last weekend uh, I went to uh, to Zandvoort Circuit. Yeah. I uh, went to the I went to the Formula Formula One race. And tell me, you have to uh, walk through the June area. Uh, uh, it's nearby the coast, so it's a coastal area. If June's is it's like walking up and down and up and down, yes. and if like in Sanford, the, the the place that I went to, it's, it's a small circuit, but <laughs> it's uh, it, uh, how much is it? I've, um, it? It's almost four kilometers. Uh, how, how much is that? Around three miles or something. Yeah, yeah three, about, three, about three, four yeah. kilometers, about 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 uh, one and three quarter miles. One and two. three quarter, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, five have, three, yeah. kilometers is three miles. Yeah. Well, anyway, but if you have to, you, you enter at one point in the circus, mm -hmm. a circus, 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 and if you want to go, want to go to the point where you you'll be sitting, you have to walk all all the way around the fucking circus. So and I'm you know I'm I'm fifty six almost and I did it and everybody else is complaining just just as hard as I do but yeah. I'm going to do it because I don't uh, now I'm muscle pain I'm still tired but that's you have to challenge your body every once in a while to you do, to do you stuff do. like that and, and if it, you go like oh I'm not going get too old to that shit fuck well, it and don't you, do it you know don't what? do it it uh... just do it. The body wants that activity and exercise and it rewards you yeah. by pumping more blood through your body and and giving yeah. you energy and and making yeah. you feel more fit. So that's that's how you feel yeah. your body is by doing that activity. I think maybe I mentioned this to you. I used to wear this this wrist monitor, this fist bit, this Fitbit when right. I went to Epcot as a leader. And the day I decided not to wear it anymore was the day that I walked over the equivalent of a half marathon one one day 
as yeah. leader walking World Showcase and walking the future world area, just all of that walking. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I thought I was walking a lot. And, and yeah, I think. I think all of that, yeah, all of that that we're mentioning, you know, walking, a- any kind of activity, you know, if you can't walk, there are things yeah. you can do in your chair, you know, on the couch. You just right. have to be willing to take the initiative because if you don't, your your body rewards you with more pain. Mm, yeah, yeah, yes. But uh, yeah, you have to do it. If you don't, you go, you're gone. Just move. And you, you're, you're very active anyway. We, we, we can't exclude gardening activity. We can't exclude mm. the work that involves standing up and bending down and, and digging out pots or planting things and, and trimming and pruning and, and reaching over to, to check the fish, doing the measurements for the tea house you're building. You know, I, I I built Neds by myself, and you know that was that was hundreds of feet of bamboo and two by fours and four by fours that I was cutting and moving and bolting and drilling and nailing. That was that was quite an achievement. Yeah, thank you. Really, I I can't stress that enough. That was awesome, and uh, you know there are not a lot of people our age who are willing to take take uh to, to take such an endeavor because it is but it, be- it keeps you it keeps you young it keeps yes. you go- going and uh yeah it's great can't wait to see it well i i agree and, and I- fact, I'm, I'm going to make a drawing this afternoon about for my tea house yes for uh for uh yeah yeah please do and, it. um even, even the tea house you're you're not it's like everything else in your garden your 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 sauna yeah. hot tub the pond everything is so intentional that you're for lack of a better way of describing it you're not going to build the tea house half assed yeah. it's got to be exactly the way it must be yeah the aesthetic yeah. that you demand and and when right. i talk about that just people so you know like I've mentioned before in other episodes, when when I asked for a little bit of help with my garden, when I had built this architectural garden at another place where I had a house, Tone had an idea to just improve yeah. a couple of things, which wound up yeah. causing us to redo a third of the garden footprint. But the end result was much better than anything that I could have imagined because that yeah. that's Tone's wheelhouse. And and you know, that that desire is a thing that infected me the same way you're you're yeah, really the, the, on details but it's also the the thing is good uh, and i'm also co- uh, convinced although i'm not a doctor because the thing w- was going on in your brain all these uh, chemicals these endorphins yes. and these all these other things. you know if you uh, tease your brains w- w- with stuff like that you try to come up with stuff, uh, you know, and it can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be with gardening or anything. But if you, if you if you, you t- keep teasing your brain because it's a, it's an integral part of your body, because people talk and we also we all do it. It's like my body, but that, uh, that's not correct because it's your brain is also an integral part of your body. So if you're talking about your body, you're talking about your brain as well. So if you keep your brain active, it also results in body health and vice versa, of course. So what you just said is a very, very relevant and a very important thing. So whatever you do, you have to be very aware of what you're doing up here. Also benefits your brain, uh, your body, your body. See, here I go again. I say it. But that's the way we uh, speak about ourselves. But our body and our mind are one integral part. So if you're talking yes. about your body, you're part, talking about your brain as well. Yeah, I frequently, okay. um, and I'll remind Addison of this, but I frequently will tell people energy doesn't know what to uh, do until we assign yeah. value. Energy doesn't know whether to be positive or negative until we give it direction. And with our brain, like you said, it, you know, br- the brain, the human brain 
and mind isn't a balloon. The, the ability to continue to expand on thought and to continue to learn and grow, just it expands our ability yeah. to, to yeah. and it's all different directions. It's not going to burst. Right. It's not going to pop. We're not going to, some, some days we feel like I've no. learned as much as I can learn and I think I'm full, right. but I think even as we get older, we have to continue to do that. Uh, you know, my my grandmother, God bless her soul. Uh, she, you know, she lived. Um, she she enjoyed a beautiful life on Earth, and and right up right up to her last day, uh, mm. she was doing crossword puzzles and word scrabbles constantly, working very on important. Her brain yeah. constantly That's very even, yeah even as. She didn't have the agility she had of decades prior. She still made sure her mm. mind, and it was, was as sharp as ever. And that's that's the important, most important thing you can do. You keep your brain keep keep your brain going because that will that that will keep your body going. I think, I think that's my opinion at least. So, it's uh, a, yeah, it's, it's where you start, and I think for everyone mm. out there, you uh, you don't have to start by running a. A marathon mm. you can start no. and i i have a, a very dear friend brandon um is training for a marathon and he right you know it's many many mornings he'll share with me i think i've lost my mind because this is ridiculous running outside right. in the summer in the south <laughs> it, are you crazy <laughs> yes it it, it yeah, takes of course it takes well a, why not it takes a special kind of mental deficiency to do that and and he his words not mine but yeah start start somewhere start somewhere start yeah. start with a crossword puzzle start with a scrabble maybe take up crocheting go out and walk if you live in a community that has a community pool go for a little swim because even if you're just in yeah the movie world, evident, yeah you're you're dealing yeah. with resistance in the water right got a pole you should be using it if you've got a bike you should be using it right just get out, so, there, get so, out there and get active so, something else something else that occurs to me now is that uh, i learned the les lesson a long time ago that i that, and it didn't occur to me back then but now it does now I realized that it was a lesson for me as well. You remember when you said to me that, uh, uh, hey, do you think I can get married in the Netherlands? That I said, well, why not? You remember that? Yes. And it's, that's that's exa exactly the question that keeps you alive. Because if you want to do something, why not? But I'm neat. Instead of think, instead of thinking, ah, well, nah. I'm I'm too old, or I can't do that because I don't have the physical strength. Well, make sure you get the physical strength, or why not try it? You know, you have nothing to lose. Listen, so hey, I got to I got to tell you, this is, this is my personal opinion, so I'm not imposing this yeah. on any anyone else. But to me, the word can't <sighs> and the word diet yeah, can't. The, the yeah. word diet has the word die with a cross at the end of it, and the word can't is the word can. <laughs> With a cross at the end of it and as far as i'm concerned the cross is death so yeah stick with the can stick right. with what you can do and then and then yeah. yourself by pushing forward a little further because as you get older you know if you're in your 20s and 30s listening to this right. or watching you're thinking ah man 60 that's so far away and then you hit 60 and right go, Holy crap you look over your shoulder <laughs> yeah and 20 <laughs> was just a blink ago so lot, yeah exactly do what you must now because if you must do it later yeah. it's going to be harder just take and take care of yourself people take care of yourself could be too late it could and, be too and and it's a thing we haven't mentioned too late yeah right you gotta take care of yourself because the people yeah. around you in your world who love you are counting right. on you right. to take care of yourself very well said very well said and now I became a, a, bons a bonsai enthusiast. Yes, I never, yes, I never yes. thought I would be doing this. Just, just the other day, I picked up one of my, I think it's the most beautiful specimen that uh, that I ever owned. And I 
saw it standing in a garden somewhere. And I went like, this tree, I want to have it because I think it's a beautiful tree. And I, I fixed it. I sent, sent you a picture. Yes, you did. And yes. if you, yeah, and if you go like, well, uh, bronze eyebrow, uh, yeah, I can't do that. Why not? Just try it. And I did. And I, I, I made it work. Uh, I have a couple of beautiful specimens standing already. And I know the most beautiful specimens are old trees. So I thought to myself, well, well I, I just <laughs> look for old trees. Just looking gardens of people or neglected gardens of stuff like yeah. that. You, you, and you see in the corner, you see, you see a little shrub. You go like, oh, wait a minute. That's an old, uh, uh, an old tree. Maybe I can ask these people uh, to to give them to me, or may I, or or I'll will say, can I adopt this tree because I really like it. I want to I want to work with it. I want to give it a better life or something like that. And it's uh, I did it two times already. The one over there in the corner, and this new one, and uh, they turn out to be beautiful. I sent you a picture already. You did. Check you did. I'm going to share, and I'm going to share some of those photos as well. You know, we have another episode where oh I shared some photos you you sent me, and I think that's a great mm. that's a great place for us to wrap this yeah. episode because what you what you just said it applies to the human body as well as to a tree. It doesn't matter how old you are. There's opportunity to improve. There's opportunity to make yourself better and healthier. It, it everything everything that gets older is more interesting yes yes i agree for some strange reasons of course we're not swinging in and yeah and leaves anywhere more but there's a, li a, a lot of other beautiful stuff out there that, that you can enjoy Ooh. yep i agree ladies and it's gentlemen not, thank you it's not too bad to get older thank you no no, just take care of yourself. Um, exactly. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing with others because you're doing that, right? You you love watching us and listening. So you're clicking like and subscribe and you're telling all your friends and family, these guys, boy, do they talk. And What are uh, you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, um, I, I can tell you, we'll see you on the next episode and we're delighted that yeah. you, uh, you joined us today. Everybody, please take care of yourself after you're done uh, signing off from this episode, go out and do something. And if you don't want to go outside because of the weather, do something in the house. Do whatever you like, do something. Take care of your body. It'll take care of you. We'll see you on the next one. And mine. That's right. Later. <laughs> Later, friends. Bye. I love you. We love you, Bye. too.